welcome one all, my name is Tavis and today I bought something. These are Armor Painter's new War Paint Fanatics. And unlike most people on the internet, I did not get these sent to me. No, no, I bought these with my own money. It was expensive. Not as expensive as the full collection, but still expensive enough. These are 50 new paints. I'm going to try them out. Because Armor Painter say that these are the best paints ever. I prefer to reserve judgment for myself. We're going to paint this little mech in the colors of my mercenary company because that I think is the fairest way to test these compared to the old paints. And um, yeah, let's get cracking as they say. Now I'm going to start off with a dark bluish gray. And um, if you're unfamiliar with how this new paint system works, basically they have six paints that have a relation to each other, they are called a extended triad or something like that, I can't remember. So basically if you want to find a paint that works well with the paint you want to use, you can look at a little table on the side and you know, see paints that work with that one. Now compared to my old war paint, this paint is stunningly creamy. So smooth, so fluid. This is straight out of the bottle. No water or anything added. Just straight paint on the palette. Why? Well, because I wanted to see how things worked. And I'll reserve judgment for now fully because this could be because these paints are new and my old paints weren't new. They were in fact rather old. Or old-ish at least. So there's a chance that my paints were a bit more gunky because they've been sitting on a store shelf for ages while these are fresh from the factory but let me tell you this fresh from the factory these paints are amazing in consistency coverage also really good now the idea here is i'm gonna paint orange and gray over this so the red reddish brown is used to base for the Orange and the dark grey of course for the pale grey, as one does. Now I'm kind of limited based on the paints that I have and I didn't want to start mixing colours because I wanted to have a straight up idea of how these new paints work on their own. Now, would I recommend getting this mega box? Mm, I don't know, it's very expensive. And if you already have a lot of paints, these are not like revolutionary in any way, shape or form. But they have a starter set and if you want to test this out, get the starter set. It's pretty good. Now, coverage I say is really good. I had no problem cleaning up this model by just painting over previous over brushes. But If anything, I have to say that the cover is a bit too good sometimes. <laughs> Not really too good, but yeah, it, it, it sometimes gets a bit aggressive, at least with darker tones. Now, I slapped some uh, dark tone on this one to get the shadows a bit deeper, that's why it looks so much darker. And then sort of applying the lava orange. The lava orange is a very bright orange. And we all know that usually bright oranges are completely impossible to work with. They're basically as bad as yellows. And I can gladly report that this still had very good coverage. I got away with basically two two coats of orange paint. And um, it was precise, it stayed where it was supposed to, it got where it went to. I didn't have to work too hard to get it where I wanted it to. Now I could have gone over this and done another highlight stage after this, but I, again I decided to just try this. As if I wanted to paint something quickly. This entire process took about an hour. It's not much work. It's very and very easy paint to work with. And the end result was really good. It had a nice industrial feel to it. But as you can see, it goes on very smooth. Very, very smooth on application and as i said this is mm, it's anti-diluted it's basically just straight onto a pad a very dry pad just keep it from drying out 
and um, trust me, my old armor paints did not do that. They also contain two mixing balls to begin with, so even if they start to gunk up a bit, you can shut them around properly and get them going again. And I mean, here's one of these life hacks for you, you people. If you have a power drill, just screw the bottle into the power drill and use that to shake the bottle up. No need to buy one of these fancy vibration shakers. Just use a power drill. That's free. But yeah, as you can see, really nice coverage. This makes it uh, two coats of orange. And that for bright orange is really good. But as I say, I'm not, not entirely sure if they're good enough that you should replace all your other colors with them. Now, pale grays are always easy to work with because they're basically just whites. And that in turn means that they are uh, fairly well covering to begin with. So I can't really say much about the paint as such. Fun note here is that it came out slightly unmixed, so it was a bit, a bit too thin. Made it a bit more watery and gloopy, so I had to go over it again with the brush to make sure that it stayed the way it should be. But again, very smooth, very easy to apply, very, very easy to work with. It's, it goes on very easy and it stays where it's supposed to stay. Which can't be said for all paints. I have tried to paint with craft paints. That's that's mystery. That's mystery. They do remain remind me of um, Citadel base paints in the consistency and how they cover. If you work with those, I don't have any further guide on what they compare well to because I don't have any other paints sitting around. Unless you happen to have some old P3 paints from Privateer Press. But those are basically just the same paints as old Games Workshop paints, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but they are still better than those. But yeah, as you can see, really nice one. They also had reworked the metallics, but I can't really see as much difference in there. They work as metallics always have. So, n not much to say there. Um, same with the washes. The washes still work very well. They're still some of the best washes in the, on the market. They always had some of the best mar washes on the market. So yeah, so what did this cost me? Well, it depends on who you are. And by the way you live. But about $150. 1,500 Swedish crowns. I always guess about 150 Euros too, because it tends things tend to follow. And as I said, that is a big initial purchase. And don't let them sell you on the whole, oh you get a paint stand with it. The paint stand is is particular. Not particularly good though, but it's a thing. But it's not worth anything. It is pressed or laser cut. Yeah, it's not worth anything. It's a fun thing, but it's not worth anything. But you get 50 paints, a good selection to start off with, and um, it's a good start to see if you want to continue painting with these paints. But I would rather recommend you get the starter kit if you're unsure, because it's a lot less money and you get a little cute miniature in it. And that's always nice. So yeah, if you're curious about these paints, either pick up a few loose paints or pick up the starter kit. Don't get go for this, because this is way too expensive. And definitely do not go for the five six hundred dollars complete collection because that thing is way way too much paint nobody needs all that much paint you're gonna get you're gonna get basically you're gonna be decision anxiety because you got so much paint and things gonna dry out and you can go use them so just pick up the paints you use instead that's much much better much better but my review so far for the new War paints fanatics is that they are really good. Are they the best paints ever? Probably not. But they're good. And there's a massive step up from the old war paints. So that part of the marketing was actually true. And if you're still here, by the way, hi. Tell me sorry I haven't posted videos a lot lately. It has been a lot going on. 
and uh, there's still gonna be a lot more going on forward. Nothing dangerous, nothing scandalous, just schoolwork and work work. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and put a video out every now and then when I can. And still waiting for the mercenary Kickstarter, that is the big thing waiting for right now. I want that thing, it looks awesome. And um, yeah, that's the thing. Beyond that, not much happening right now. Um, consider picking up the uh, Hans's Rough Riders and the Kel Hounds and the Highlanders. Not Highlanders boxes, but those sold out. So I currently can't get them. And uh, no, we're not buying from Catalyst, we're buying from a local game store. Because Catalystics are expensive. Like $150 in shipping, expensive. Yeah. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is it's going to be a bit sketchy with videos going forward. And I hope you're going to survive that. And for the people who want to, I'm going to put little paint icons up in the next video. Because I'm, going to, I'm finishing those up. Let's go over to the pretties and wrap this up. Until next time. Stay safe. Be kind. And do... Do play fair. Bye.